Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for up and coming notifications of new videos that we will be putting out this year. Today I'm going to be talking about casting, in particular spinning reels as well as multiplying reels. Guys, to start off with today, I'm going to be explaining to you how we cast a spinning reel. From the small little ones all the way through to our big eight, nine ounce rods. Uh, what I'm using here at the moment today is our 1363 MLS. It's a medium light spin, 13 foot six, three piece, 30 pound braid. And I'm using the BGMQ, uh, 14,000. And I've got a five ounce sinker attached. The basics around casting a spinning reel, literally, revolves around the rod doing most of the work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw your sinker out or just shoot your sinker out. As it loads, basically you're gonna go from a static position and you're just gonna speed it up. That's all you wanna do, speed the sinker up. How we transfer the weight and create a lot more speed for casting is literally putting your sinker out as far as you can and starting very slowly, transferring the weight from your right leg to your left leg, through your hips, into your shoulders and you push and pull. It's as simple as that. So all it is is transferring the weight from the one leg to the other leg, twisting the body, bringing it through and pushing and pulling at the same time. That's all you've got to concentrate on. Always remember to have two wraps on your reel. That is two wraps of your leader line at least on the reel. And always make sure that your knot, your FG or PR knot, sits at the bottom. And your second wrap comes around the top, if you can see that there. Very important that. Use your finger, bail arm over. And again, all you're gonna do is push back, and transfer. Remember to keep the elbow up. Look up at the same time. It's very important to get your height. So here we go. Very slowly, here we go. Another very important thing to remember is your foot positioning. So basically, that's where I want to throw. So I keep my left leg in that direction, my right leg slightly in front of it. So when I come around and let go, I'm in that position there when I let go. Okay, so remember your foot positioning, where you want to throw, the angle you want to be in, follow the line. That's the straight line, that way. Okay, foot, like I said, slightly behind. Two wraps on the reel. And we flick back and... I'm going to be using my Saltus high volume fiber rod. It's the 15 foot three piece. It's for throwing bigger baits, heavier baits, heavier sinkers. Um, what I've got here is an eight ounce. Normally we throw a whole mackerel, something along those lines. 50 pound J braid and I've matched that here with my MQ uh, Saltist uh, reel. This one here is the 20,000. I've got a PR knot on here, and I've got a 180 pound leader line. Now, when it comes to throwing bigger baits, you basically got to throw a lot harder. You got to use a lot more power. So the transfer of weight from one leg to the other leg becomes a lot more as well as your shoulder push and pull. Okay, so 
instead of coming over the top, you've literally got to throw the, the line or the sinker weight behind you and sweep through it. So you need to get a bigger arc to come around to generate more speed. Okay, so again, foot positioning, left and right, and you're literally transferring the weight. So what it looks like is you're going back there, like that position, and you're coming around, and as you come around, left hand comes down and right hand pushes. So it's that kind of a motion, so like that. So just transferring the weight, very important. Sit at home and practice it, it works very well. Always remember to keep your head up when you're doing that as well. So up, because that's where you want to throw. Up, that's where you want to throw. Okay, here we go. Two turns or three turns, keep the knot at the bottom. Because we're throwing bigger baits, heavier baits, we use a bionic finger, very important. So we take the, the leader, we go underneath it, we click the bionic finger over. Always remember to tighten your drag knob before you throw as well. Once again, bionic finger, tighten drag. Go back. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, all the tackle that you've seen me use here today is available from leading tackle stores nationwide as well as our Kingfisher stores. Come and speak to our wonderful staff.